Hello, welcome to this tutorial series and introduction to computer graphics with Vulkan using C++. This series is aimed at anyone interested in computer graphics, game engines, and truly understanding how the new generation of graphics APIs work to generate 3D images in real time. In the first 20 or so videos, we'll cover topics like importing 3D models and texturing, various lighting effects, fog and atmosphere, terrain generation, game object movement, and eventually much, much more. This is not going to be a language tutorial, and I assume that you have worked with C++ and object-oriented programming in the past. So what is Vulkan? From the Vulkan Creators website, Vulkan is the new generation graphics and compute API that provides high efficiency cross-platform access to modern GPUs used in a wide variety of devices from PCs and consoles to mobile phones and embedded platforms. So what does this really mean and why do I recommend learning Vulkan over older graphics APIs like OpenGL? OpenGL was released in 1992 and designed for graphics workstations at the time. While it has seen numerous extensions, modern hardware has evolved significantly in the past 28 years. I don't think anyone at the time working at Kronos Group could have imagined would have devices capable of rendering millions of triangles that fit in the palm of a hand. Every year an increasing number of games are being made with Vulkan, and it seems to be the direction the video game industry is heading in. If you're an aspiring game developer or interested in pursuing research in computer graphics, I think a deep understanding of Vulkan will be a very beneficial skill to have for many years. While Vulkan is seeing adoption within the video game industry, it's developed a bit of a reputation for not being very beginner friendly. This is really unfortunate because I believe a lot of people are being turned away by a steep learning curve and a lack of resources. Currently, the most commonly recommended way I've seen for getting started is with VulcanTutorial.com. This is the resource that I used in a fantastic tutorial, but in my opinion, it would be difficult to follow if you lack previous experience working with computer graphics. Also, once you finish that tutorial, it's pretty hard to know what direction to go into next. So this series is to start at the beginning and develop the required skills and knowledge to make amazing creations. We will cover computer graphics theory and slowly introduce Vulkan API functionality as we build a computer graphics game engine. Before we proceed, it should be said that while we may be building a game engine which can eventually build games for us, if your main goal is to make a video game as soon as possible, you'd be better off learning an existing game engine like Unity or Godot. However, there is no shortage of videos from various game developers on mistakes they've made and oftenly shared advice is trying to create too ambitious a project from the start. So following this series focused on developing the fundamental skills required to eventually make great games may leave you better off in the long run. Now to get started, we are going to need to have a new C++ project set up with the Vulkan SDK, the Vector Library GLM, and the Windowing API GLFW. To avoid reinventing the wheel, I've linked a guide from VulkanTutorial.com in the description below that goes over the setup process for Windows, Linux, and Mac. On this page, you just need to complete the steps specific to the operating system you are using. I'll be on a Mac using VS Code and a simple make file, but feel free to use your preferred C++ text editor or IDE. Well, thank you for getting this far, and I hope you will continue on with these tutorials. New videos will be released weekly, and if you don't want to miss them, please subscribe. 